what an autistic girl is likely to do is identify who's popular and think, I would like to be popular. What do they do? How do they use their gestures? What do they talk about? What do they wear? And so the autistic girl becomes a psychologist and analyzes people, personality, social behavior, and so on. And so what she's doing is choosing someone as a, a guide in a way of how to be and become that person. It's acting. It's acting neurotypical. It is a brief cure for autism. But my concern as a clinician is that is at horrendous cost. Considering autistic boys, their adaptation can be total withdrawal, become isolated, uh, not engage with others, it's safe. And some, unfortunately, in teenage years, become a recluse in their bedroom, it's safe. But when they engage socially, they make mistakes. And unfortunately, their reaction can be agitation, anger, and unfortunately be quite abrasive to others. One of the things that the girls will do is avidly apologize. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I want everyone to be happy uh, to a fault to a certain extent. But the boys will try to socialize. It doesn't work and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And the fault is in other people, not me. So they can go into attack mode. A characteristic of autism is something fascinates you. Now, it can be what everyone else is interested in. Pokemon, um, Minecraft and things like that. But you take it to a degree far greater than anyone else. Or it's unusual. It is something obscure. Uh, it may be a particular insect or, um, a, should we say, in a science museum, a particular animal that is now, uh, what is the phrase, uh, extinct. And you know all about it and you're an encyclopedia of knowledge on that. But I have found that there is a diversity in girls' interests that includes the arts, to draw in photographic realism, have a wonderful sense of perception, to sing in perfect pitch. What we now find is that in autism, there's a difficulty in expressing your thoughts and feelings through speech. How are you feeling? I don't know. But can do that magnificently and eloquently in the arts. And some will go on to a career in the arts in playing an instrument, in singing, in fine art, etc. And we're recognizing that this is not only a talent with lots of practice, but is a way of describing the self and getting genuine praise from others. But there are other interests too, especially for the girls, in animals, in horses, for example, and dogs, and have a career as a wildlife ranger and so on. So it could be in animals. It can be sometimes with words and literature. And one of the things that the girls may have done is I'm different, I'm not accepted, so I'll escape into my imagination. I will read fiction. Boys often find fiction boring, but the girls will say, oh, Harry Potter, I identify with Hermione. I like fiction. And so write fiction and become a very successful author. So when we're looking at careers for an autistic girl, we don't say engineering or accountancy. It can be the arts and that is very enjoyable and valuable.